last time you had your eyes checked? And I'm not talking about because you need new contacts. For 23-year-old Olivia Rodriguez of Anaheim, an eye exam turned out to be life-saving. Here's Olivia recovering from brain surgery last October, a 17-hour procedure to remove an aneurysm from her brain. Olivia had been complaining of headaches for years, and it was an optometrist who finally figured out the cause by simply performing an eye exam. See that bright spot right there? Joining me now, Olivia Rodriguez and the optometrist who saved her life, Dr. Carlos Green. Olivia, you're lucky to be alive. I am very lucky and very blessed to be to, here. To be sitting here right now talking about this. And how old are you? I'm 23. 23 years old and you have to go through all this happening. You went from doctor to doctor. You had headaches yes. in high school. Tell me about that a little bit. I had a history of headaches, migraines, which developed into getting more symptoms, into nausea, blacking out. What did doctors tell you you had? It was uh, over and over stress. 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 Did you think that's what you had? No, I knew, you know, vomiting, blacking out was not okay. It was not caused by stress. Those are things that are not caused by stress. And, and you have some scars on your forehead to prove it, don't you? That I you've do. gone through this tough thing. I do. I have screws on the top here. Yeah, you screws. can barely see it a little bit that you have yeah. permanent screws in your head. Yes. What made you finally go see Dr. Green? My right eye went all the way in towards my nose, and I was having double vision, so which affected my driving. And so you went to see an eye him, exam, seeing this, what was going he saved on. Saved my life, and this is what happened. Okay, Dr. Green, let's turn to you. What made you send Olivia to the ER immediately when you did that exam? Um, the symptoms that she had, which was uh, double vision uh, and some headaches, uh, did not bode well. Uh, once I put drops in Olivia's eyes and w I was able to look inside her eyes, I saw that her optic nerves were quite swollen. And I did uh, additional testing. Um, you know, here's the picture right here of her eyeball. Yeah. So in the middle of that dark spot, yeah. that's the iris of the Actually, eye. Actually, next to the dark spot, you'll see the mm -hmm. whitish, pinkish uh, optic nerve, which is really swollen. Okay, and that's what led me to believe we've got a very serious Is that an aneurysm? Problem. Is that what we're no, looking at no, in that? No, that is an effect secondary to the aneurysm in the brain. And uh, the uh, aneurysm was so large, uh, about the size of a very large plum, that it was um, creating wait, 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 wait. the size of a plum. Yeah, uh, it's about th almost three uh, inches in diameter. That was no wonder this here. one was having headaches, nausea, and, and her eye was turning in. Yes. My goodness, that's amazing. Yeah. How often, Dr. Green, when you're doing, you're talking an eye exam, right? You know, read the letters on the chart, right? Yes. How often do you see a disease in the eye? Uh, I would say weekly, on a weekly, weekly basis. Weekly, because there are so many things, not just aneurysms. You've diagnosed high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, thyroid disease, brain tumors. Brain tumors was interesting to me. What do you see through the eye that shows you a brain tumor? Uh, the optic nerves reveal a lot. Uh, that, uh, along with uh, listening to the patient's complaint, listening to what they are uh, complaining re regarding uh, headaches, uh, other neurological uh, deficiencies of their body. And I think what people don't understand is you can see so much through the eye. You talked about the drops that will dilate it. And you can actually peer right in, right then and there, and see all yeah. the way through, can't yeah. you? Yes. And yes. that's yes. what does it. Yeah. Olivia, we're going to get out of here right now, but 23 years old, you went through all of this. What do you have to tell people about their eyes? The importance of going to the eye doctor, if, regardless if you had to just check one, you don't need to check your eyes. The importance of, you know, not even being age. Thinking doesn't you matter. Having, yeah, age doesn't matter. And just the importance of going to the doctors. If you're feeling any symptoms, right away to go. We thank you. It's life-changing. Yes, and I'm sure you've saved some lives just sitting here. Thank you so much, Dr. Green. Thank you thank so you. much for coming in.